it's Mr. Tlatchoy here. Welcome to Back to Basics. I want us to look at what we regard as the converse, right, of our theorem one. Remember that theorem one states that a line from the center, uh, what, perpendicular to the chord bisects the chord. Now we want to look at the converse, which states that now if you are having a line from what, uh, if you are having, you are having your line, which is joining from the center to the midpoint of the chord, this is going to what? It's going to be perpendicular to the chord. Okay. So basically, we want to prove that our OM is perpendicular to AB. Okay. So basically, that's what we want to prove, right? Now, how are we then going to start here, right? Now, the, the first thing that you're going to start, you're going to start, obviously, by providing construction. You are going to construct... Uh, you are going to construct what? You are going to join this line. You are going to join our AO, right? Our AO and also our what? And also our OB. Okay. So which means what is it that you are going to do? You are going to join this, right? You are going to join all that. And you are also going to join all these particular lines, right? Now, that's the first thing. And after that, after the construction now, uh, you are going to obviously look at these two triangles, our triangle uh, OAM and also OBM, right? Now, we are going to look at both of these particular triangles. You are going to say now, uh, in triangle OAM and also our triangle what? And also our triangle OBM. I want to get, uh, we are going to look at these particular two triangles and try to find out uh, what and try to prove congruence between those two triangles right now the first thing that you are going to take out look obviously our ao is going to be close to your ob why is it so remember this is a line drawn from the center to your what to your uh to your what to your circumference of your circle right from the what from the center to the circumference of the circle right so which means this is your radius right so since they are uh, this is plural, it's going to be radii, out again, or the radis, right? Out again. Now, the second proof, we are going to say, now that you've uh, also drawn that, I want you to look at what, if you can see here, your AM and also your MP, your AM and also your what, your MP, both of these are going to be equal, right? Now, can you see that those are equal because that's given? Right. If you can see by these double stroke lines, this one, which states that these two things are given, that they are equal. And thirdly, what is it that you can prove here? Right. Can you see that you're also your OM, this line OM here, this line OM here is going to be close to your line, what your line OM on this, uh, on both of these triangles. Right. So this is a common side. Let's get this side is common. Right. So now what is it that you are going to then conclude? Now that you have proven three things to be equal, then you can come back to your conclusion and say, now, therefore, our triangle, what? Our triangle OAM, OAM, it is going to be congruent to triangle what? To triangle OBM, right? And what is it that you've used? We've used all the sides. Remember, can you see that the radii was the side? The given, it was also the side. And also the common, it is also a common side. Okay, so all these are the things that we've proven, right? Now that we've proven congruence, remember congruence, it, it means that all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal, right? So which means, therefore, we can then conclude that, therefore, our angle M1, it is going to be close to our angle, what? Our M2, which both of them are going to, what? Both of them are going to be close to 90 degrees, right? Because M1 and M2 are, what? Are angles on a straight line. Altogether, these are going to be angles on a straight line. That's why M1 and also your M2 are going to be equal, right? So basically, this is how you are going to prove your converse, right? Your converse of your, uh, of your theorem 1. Hopefully, this makes sense to you now. And thank you very much.